Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Fallout 2. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that you chose to join me today here with my car as we leave the stables again, because I didn't do that, I just forgot about that. It's very easy, it's very, very easy to lose your car. It's something I have uh, just grown accustomed to over the years, just always be on the lookout for it and see if the trunk has disappeared or if the car itself has disappeared, leaving the trunk behind for some reason. Uh, I remember that was, that was uh, this game is very buggy. and Well, not right now. I mean, it still is a little bit, but it's way less than it used to be. This game was just incredibly, incredibly buggy. It shaped forever, at least for me, I think. It shaped, forever shaped my, my, uh, receptiveness towards bugs in RPGs. Just, oh, look at this! I can't complete this quest! Eh, that's fine. And it's just, you know, it's I, it's it's bad that it is, but it, it, it was unfortunately rushed like crazy. 11 months of development is absolutely mad. Interplay, they went under. It wasn't because of nothing. It wasn't because of nothing. It definitely wasn't because of Fallout 2. It was because they cancelled Fallout 3 twice in favor of uh, other crap like Fallout Brotherhood of Steel and Fallout Brotherhood of Steel 2. Uh, but yeah, so we're here in the Porn Studios because we have a mission to complete for the um, M Mordinos. Uh, and that is to talk to the Corsican brothers over here. Are you the, Cor the other Corsican brother? Shouldn't he be siblings? Because that is a lady over there. No, that's... Wait a minute. So these are bodyguard bodyguards. And this is one of the Corsican brothers. Where's the other one? I would like to know. <gasps> Crap. Man, these guys are really, really not... They, they really don't like me. I, I'm gonna need to do that all, all over again. Ugh. But we're actually getting ourselves into a very, very cool uh, little quest line here with... Uh, with, uh, with um, not these guys, with the... Um, Mordinos? Yeah, I think. Uh, I think it's them. It's either that or the right. I don't... I think it is the Mordinos that have a very cool quest line that's gonna take us to an interesting place. So, speaking of interesting places, by the way, last episode we got access... or we got marked on our map, EPA. And I don't remember what that means, but that is a cut uh, area from Fallout 2. I was speaking about the game being rushed, and uh, yeah, there was a lot of areas that got cut. Uh, and... Uh, yeah, the re that's what the restoration project is for. Just bringing back some of that content, if not all of it. it. It's not all of it. I mean, it's never all of it. Games get cut because sometimes there is a tree of talking guashinis or something. But well, there was there was a there was a concept for that. I think it was for the first game actually, and they cut that off because it was ridiculous. <laughs> um, but I think it was for the first game. But the talking animals they make a comeback in this in this game. We have already bit bit a a, 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 a well talked to the talking plants. Oh, we have bit a scorpion in a chest, and um, that's that for right now. Let's have a chat with this guy and try to extort some money. The Corsican, uh, Corsican bros at your service. And the man glances up, irritated, then does a double take. Oh, holy... Bob Boa? How come you ain't been here earlier, man? Great fight, by the way. Great fight. What can I do for you? Um, yeah, I'm... Um, so, I'm here for Big Jesus Mordino's money. Oh, sure, sure, sure. Here I go. 250 chips. And um, say hello to Big Jesus for me, okay? Uh, yeah, maybe, yeah, maybe. Later for you, pal. I'll see you later. That was easy. That was really easy. All that, all that get up. And it's just like, uh, sure, 250. I think that was the money that he needed. Well, it, this, this was a little bit harder than it had to be because I had to go back for Sulik. Then I had to go back for the car. And then I had to go back because I got myself killed. And that was, yeah, that was not necessarily the, the sleekest of missions. But that's okay. That's, I don't know why I'm not saving as much, but there we go. Uh, and uh, let's go upstairs back to Señor Mordino. And uh, I, Mordino doesn't sound like a Spanish name. But then again, maybe the, whoever wrote that didn't know that. Or had a different opinion, or maybe knows that, and I don't. Anyway, it doesn't sound like a Spanish name. I, Anyway, doesn't matter. Have you done as I asked? He always says that, doesn't he? Yeah, here's the money, Señor Mordino. Uh, he nods and gives you, uh, and you give him the money. Uh, here, half is yours. Eh, that they already, they all had already paid me this month, but I like to keep them on their toes. Yeah, thank you, Señor Mordino. Señor Mordino looks at you for a long time, then nods slightly. I have one last job for you. There. Take a he takes a deep, uh, wheezing breath again and wipes sweat from his forehead. Is a man who must die. Uh, who is this man you wish dead, Signor Mordino? This man, Luis Salvatore. He has killed many of my men. Many proud men of the Mordino family. He butchered them in the streets like dogs. And his hand clenches into a fist. It is my will that this man dies. Uh, 
I will see that the Mordino family av avenged, Senor Mordino. I will return when I have completed the task. He nods. That is good. The man is old, a cripple. He hides in his bar, Salvatoris, near the Bishop Casino. He is a coward and never leaves his room upstairs. When he is dead, return. Cripple? He nods again. The butcher's legs are weak. And Jesus wipes his forehead and draw draws another weak breath. He also has difficulty breathing. He takes air he takes air through an oxygen tank. Mmm. Yeah, I'll be back when he is dead, Senor Mordino. Okay, so this is the last mission. Of course, we're uh, the last mission for this for this one. So I was wrong. It is the uh, it is the rights that give us a special mission that we're gonna take on in, in all in due time. Um, but uh, first we're gonna do no. Actually, we're not gonna mess too much with this town. We're gonna focus on the uh, yeah. We're gonna focus on the families. Uh, so we're not gonna do this quest uh, immediately. Of course, the Salvatores are the guys with the uh, laser rifles. That's not a big deal actually. I, we can take them. Uh, it's the guys that have this bar over here. And killing the Salvatore dude is not too not too hard. It does require a little bit of trial and error or knowing how to do it, uh, which I suppose I know how to do it, but I'll still require a little bit of trial and error. But anyway, for right now, what we'll do, actually what we'll do is we'll go, because we spent so much time on the road, uh, it, because of going back and forth and all that, I will go over here. Somebody's glaring in there. By the way, is, is she still over there? How is she still there? Didn't I? Um, okay. How's it going, Nikki? What do you want now? You're here to waste my time or you gotta place a bet? Uh. Yeah, talk later, Nikki. Yeah, well, your pretty boy Lloyd is dead. Exploded by uh, his own mine. Don't ask me how. Underground, yeah, it was, was weird. It doesn't matter. Uh, so, yeah, we're gonna go over here to see if I. Uh... Actually, apparently I missed something, uh, s some secret in uh, a place here, close to here. Let's see if this guy has. Replenish his stock. Make it quick. Uh, so, um, yeah. Let me see what you have in stock. So hopefully he has. Uh, still very expensive. Oh, he doesn't give me a discount. No, he does not give me a discount. But he does pay. Oh man. I mean, I could I could buy this. I, I'm gonna need that one. I, uh, and let's take the buff out as well. Let's go with that. Okay. So we have that, and uh, the cattle prod can be upgraded for pretty cheaply. Or actually for free. <laughs> it's not pretty cheaply. It's free. Can upgrade that for free. Um, let's put that over there. Put these in here. We don't need these many. I think I'll, I'll have enough stuff here to make up for... Yeah, pretty good. Pretty good. Okay. So that's 11 over there. And he doesn't give me a discount. How does he not give me a discount? That's weird. Uh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's fine. He only gives me the discount on that one time? Is that how it goes? Huh. Maybe. I, if it is, then I got really lucky. <laughs> yeah, that one time when we uh, extorted him a little bit. But we got another trader down here. It is daytime, I believe. Uh, yeah, it is. It's ha halfway through the morning. And uh, New Reno Arms, of course, and then uh, we're gonna go down there again because I think I missed the secret or something, and I'm gonna try to look for it. Hello, sir. Uh, can I see? Uh, looking for something special. Uh, we got uh, discriminate a discriminating customer, hey? Well, at times the prizes, the prize pieces do make their way through here. Take this, for example. It holds up something odd. Genuine pre-war tech. In it, something. Uh, can I take a look? Uh, it's a complex circuit board. A memory chip is set into it, and a number of computer. Co Connections are on the side, including an input and an output. Printed on the board is Voltec voice recognition module. Oh, Voltec! This has to be important. How much? No, um, yeah, how much? I can't, I can't play it down. But yeah, three thousand bucks. Take it or leave it. Whoa, that's a little steep. How about fifteen hundred? He thinks about it for a moment, studies you, then nods. All right then, I'm letting you have it for a steal. But there you go. And he hands you the module, takes your money. Anything else? Okay. Thank you very much. That's actually a little bit off normal. Uh, because usually you bargain and then you decide to actually buy it. But at least now he has money. Oh, he has. Oh, I could buy that. This is the. This is the. Yeah, I'm gonna buy that. And I have this. This is gonna come in handy later on. Much later on. But we're gonna just. There's a lot of stuff here in the Reno that comes in handy later on. 
that's one of the reasons why you kind of want to come back here every once in a while. So we have a lot of stuff here. I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure my armor is not better than that one. This is my weapon. I can sell this. I can sell that. I'm never going to use these. The marked cards, I have them all somewhere else. It's not a problem. Never going to use the needle card cartridges. These things are just... They, they don't matter. Uh, the Jimmy hats, I'm never gonna need them. The Nuka Colas, apparently not. Or the beers, and neither am I gonna need that. Oh, that's very expensive. I like that. I like that it's very expensive because I'm gonna s stick with it. Um, I'm gonna sell the. No, I'm not selling these. Nope, that's in New Vegas, not here. Uh, <laughs> the, yeah, in New Vegas, I'm not using energy weapons. Neither am I here, but we're not selling that because of reasons. Um, because, you know, because we're gonna need them um, for the car. Not just for the car, but yeah. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna need to take away a hundred and seventy. No, that's really not what it was. N or that. There we go. Okay, so we got one of these armors. Let's. let's it's a. It, this is gonna come in handy for a while. Let's see if it is better than ours. So we got a threshold of five of uh, eight four four six. Uh, this is four seven four four four. But I think the percentages might be a little bit better. They are indeed. For laser, they are for sure. For normal damage, they're not. Or for fire. Or for plasma. Or for explosion. But they're better. They're be they it looks like the Tesla armor. It kind of, it's kind of weird. I don't know. Did, did I get what one of these before? Be what I've been needing. I've been needing you to tell me what you have. I would like to know what that is. But I can't. The only way to do that is to go into you your gear. Got it. You got it, friend. Remove the armor. He's got one of those already. Okay. I, mu I must have bought it as well. Go into combat control and tell him that everything is good there. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much, Sulik. I'll see you later. Somebody else will take this. Uh, Cassidy. What's up? My gear? Yeah. What about? No problem. Too hot for that kind of gear anyway. Makes me sweat like a new Reno whore. <laughs> Did he sweat a lot? Is because of all the jet? There we go. So he's got some of that and he can carry that. Fantastic. So I go now into combat control. See if he's uh, over encumbered because it's the only way. Yeah, there it is. Uh, and now he's using that. Uh, actually, I should take that away and give it to... Because uh, I know at least Lenny is using a leather jacket or hardened leather jacket or something. Uh, I say Lenny. It's Myron. Hey, Vic. Uh, you're already... Yeah. Yeah, okay. So, I'm gonna need to give this to Lenny. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. You little piece. Uh, oh, by the way, I can give you all this. Got a lot of drugs on me. Uh, and also, that one is gonna need to go to Sulik. There we go. So, see? I'm giving you a, a good armor and all that sort of stuff. And you're just ah, at me. Don't ah, at me. Combat leather jacket, that's the, that's the one. And I can sell that and hopefully make a bunch of money. Good. Not even selling the jet because it just doesn't weigh anything. And as long as I have money, as long as I have crap on me, and I will have crap for me on me forever, forever. The crap never ends in this game. I'll take that out from you as well. Um, and I think I'll be able to sell maybe both. Where is what the hell? I don't know what Sulik does. Um, can I see? Oh, I can't ask for the nice stuff. He still has the money. That's good. So that's a thousand. That's seven hundred. That's good enough for me. So a thousand right there. Thank you very much. I'll talk to you later. Maybe. I, th I don't know who. I oh, it's it's him. It's Marcus that has the the cr the really crappy stuff. Hey, Marcus. What do you want? I want I want you to give me all the crap that you have on you, uh, like ammo, for example, or that. Don't open your mouth at me. I told you already that it's kind of disturbing. Please don't do that. Uh, we got a lot of ammo there that he will use. Oh, come on, Marcus. Seriously. Why do you do that? Why is that? I don't, I don't, don't, am I just unlucky to always see him with that? Or is this just, I don't, I have no idea. Anyway, uh, now we're going to be able to make the rest of the money over here. There we go. With uh, a grenade. Oh, that's too much. With some of these. Yeah, a couple. A couple is good. How about these? Oh, nice. Very nice. I like that. Uh, do I like that, actually? Mm, yeah, that's okay. Can take that. Uh... These are very expensive, as per usual. The rest of the stuff is gonna... I mean, yeah, all, all of it is expensive. Yeah, you keep that. I don't need the money. It's all fine. Just pretend I got stolen. Oh, I got robbed by a kid. It's all good. Okay, so somebody's being shot, or at least being shot at. You weren't supposed to be there. Get out! Okay, I know. Just want to come down here. Now, where is this secret? Oh. 
Uh, where, where is the secret? It's not the junks, right? The junks don't have anything. It's gotta be a container. Hmm. Okay, let's get that over there as well. Yeah, this this is just junk. I, I don't need that. Unless... Yeah, it's gotta be a container. I, I don't know. I just don't know what the secret is. Oh, wait a minute. Did I check this? I didn't. But it's not like it's a big secret. It's still hidden. Oh. Did I do a bad job of, of getting all the stuff? Oh, yeah, I did. I mean, we don't need that, but yeah, I definitely did. The leather armor is actually pretty good, because it's light. It gives you extra armor class. So in terms of dodging the attacks, it's better. It's just not as good as in terms of uh, resisting the attacks. The problem is, by the, this point in the game, we're... Oh, there it is! I Oh, come on! How could I have missed that? Oh my god. That You know what that means, guys? That means we're not going to need to steal a Bozar. That means... Oh my god, that's so good. That is so, also the plasma grenades are gonna come in handy. Hey man, I got stuff here. Um, can you do anything with my weapons? Uh, no. Okay. Well, he's also got a hot visor over here. Or Havaza, Havitsa, or something. A strange looking cannon looks like a relic from the pre war days. You wonder how it ended up here. Indeed, how did it end up here? Uh, but there we go. That's pretty good. I don't know. I, you could uh, call into question. Oh my god, you guys just stepping on my toes right now. Always standing in my way. Seriously, get out of my face. <laughs> get out. Um, but uh, you could call into question why there's a guy, tr a clearly mentally disabled guy. I think I I, I I hesitate to call him disabled, but he's definitely not a well because he could be just he could be just a trauma or something. And I don't think that qualifies as disabled disability, does it? I mean, technically, legally, he does, but. You know what I mean? I don't know. Because like post-traumatic stress disorder, you can you you get qualified for disability, but I'm pretty sure it's it's not considered a disability. Or it's just words. I don't know words. Anyway, let's get out of here. Um, we are going to the rights, and uh, we're gonna do their quest, and that's gonna be pretty awesome. But also, I'm gonna just uh, guard that thing right there. Guard that thing. Also, I need to give this to Sulik. That was the whole deal. What you be need? Hey, Sulik, how's it going? And we're going to need to go back to that particular trade spot over there as well in the future. Uh, but for right now, I think we're good. We're, we're pretty good. It's good that I got that. I actually had forgotten about the uh, the voice module. Eventually, you get it because you just come keep uh, coming and going, right? Oh, look at that. All the hookers. Oh, they're not letting me in into the shark club. Are you kidding me? Oh, they are. I just... Yeah. You see a lady of the evening. Her tattered clothes are draped seductively around her body. Sure, whatever you say, Johnny, whatever you say, because the narrator of this game is called Johnny. It's not, I just made up, I made it up. Anyway, let's go over here. We have never been here before. Here's a tourniquet if you need it. That's not the first time I hear that either. Um, and this is, it doesn't say, but this is the uh, nice part of town. Let's put it that way. You see, one of uh, Reno Townsfolk. How much you bench? I uh, saw so you fight in the ring. Damn good right hook you'd throw. Do I? Do I now? Let's go in here and say, say hi to all these nice people. One of Wright's daughters. You fight good. You should talk to dad. Er, uh, the, the boss about the job. Uh-huh. Sure. Stay away from there. Sure. As long as you don't try to take more than once from the same thing. Yeah. Uh, we could use a strong arm around town, if you're interested. That's one of his sons. Uh, and over here, if you... Uh, I'd get you a drink. Yeah, I've heard that before. <laughs> that line, basically. Uh, and here over here is uh, a tall young man with a mohawk. He's wearing a lot of chains and leather. Well, hellbent for leather. That's that's who that's who he is. It's just okay. It's fine. We've got a Nuka-Cola machine that can get us Nuka-Cola. One of Wright's daughters. Uh, let's see. Can I check her out? A uh, young woman with a stern expression. She's trying to look tough. Okay, she's doing a good job. Hello, everybody. Um, may I uh, inspect your containers? No. How about this container? It's broken. You don't care. No. Nobody Nobody wants that. Uh, if I'd good... Yeah, these guys are just telling me to go somewhere. Okay. Not, not in the nasty sense. They're actually literally telling me to go talk to their boss, basically. And where are we? Hmm. We got some machines down here. Water tanks. A large tank that holds liquids. Yeah? What kind of liquids? Booze. That's right. That's right. The right family? 
they are the Boos family. We've re we've learned about this before, by the way. Uh, if uh, you remember us talking to Jules at the entrance of um, of uh, Virgin Street, uh, many episodes ago now, well, actually probably like seven or eight episodes, I, I haven't been keeping track, but I will sell all these booze even though it weighs me down, and uh, yeah, it's just, it doesn't matter. Hello, sir. Speaking, speaking is against the rules, he says. Well, don't speak then. Master is good to me, says that guy. Yeah, we got a lot of booze around here, don't we? Hey, sir, can you teach me to fight too? Well, I can, I think. Well, actually, the rules of the game don't really specify how I do that. I'm sure if you go look up the GURPS rules, you might see something about that. Because GURPS is actually a pretty complex system, despite Fallout. Fallout is inspired by GURPS, which is a pen and paper role-playing system. Uh, the system, Fallout system, I mean. Um, and uh, despite Fallout having probably one of the most streamlined proper systems in in proper RPGs, it's I it, GURPS is way more complicated than, than Fallout is. But yeah, as, at least as far as I know, I never played it uh, myself, I mean. Uh, so let's see. We have a train thing over here. So this was probably a train station. We have a bunch of things over here that don't really matter. I'm pressing shift and nothing happens. We have another house over here. I know where I'm going, by the way. I'm just trying to figure out if there's anything that I could miss by... Oh, look at that. We got one of those printing machines over there. I have old printing press or manufacturing doohickey. Or doohickey or something. And over here we have nothing as well. Okay. And there's kids. I killed you dad, says these kids. Yeah, there's kids here. And if you come here with a power armor, they, they mock you for uh, for having a power armor. I don't know if they're gonna say anything to the to that extent. Because, yeah, I wanna be the Metal Insect next game. Yeah, they say that because of my armor. And that's what they're, that's what they're referring to. You're always the Metal Insect, says that guy. Look, here comes the Metal Insect! No, I think... Mm, are they? I think that line is because of what I have on me. Yeah, let's see if I can talk to them. The child stops bzzzing around <laughs> and lifts up the pot to look uh, to look at you. What pot? What? Huh? Uh, what are you playing? Metal insects and soldiers? Metal insects? Yeah, metal insects. We saw one of the, one when we uh, were out in the desert. It was as big, and he takes a deep breath, as big as a house. Nita I had the people, people in it. And it had people in it. Yeah, not knit. And it had people in it. Uh, really? Whoa, where, where did you see it? In the desert? And he glances around, starts whispering, A bunch of us are going out there tonight. Wanna come? And he squints at you. But you're gonna really, you gotta really be quiet. Really quiet. Uh... Yeah. I don't think you'll be seeing that metal insect anymore. It was actually a helicopter. Huh? And he frowns and adjusts the pot on his head. Oh, he got, he's got a pot on his head. Uh, what's, what's a helicopter? A helicopter is, well, I guess the closest ex approximation you'd be familiar with is automobile. The helicopter is like an automobile that's able to rise off the ground and hover through uh, the use of vertical ro vertically rotating blades. The helicopter's engine spins the blades so fast it keeps it aloft. Isn't that incredible? The kid shrugs, lets, uh, he lets the pot fall down over his head and resumes buzzing around. Okay. So I can talk to them again about, uh, I can, good. Uh, so why are you, why do you, yeah, he doesn't say over here that he, uh, it, there should be a description that he has a pot, but I, I guess I didn't get it over there. Why do you have a pot on your head? It's not a pot, stupid, it's my helmet. Okay, sorry, I, a fearsome helmet, helmed warrior. What do you want? Uh, wh where are your parents? Daddy's in the house, mommy's at church. Okay, uh, all right then, just curious, thanks. Yeah, you guys have fun. All those stones over there as well. I'm sure they use that thoroughly in their in their um, games. Can I get in there? Well, there's the door over there that I believe I can open, but it doesn't mean I can get in there. Yeah, I can open the door, but not get in there. Doesn't matter. It's just empty space. Okay, let's go on in. It's a big house. This is a big house. It's a nice sprawling house, but it's still just it's the same family. So. It kind of, this kind of goes to show that, yeah, these guys are all of their same family. Uh, they built you tough, no doubt, he says. Yeah. Okay, so let's go on in. Let's not talk to the boss, because he's clearly the boss. The, the boss? The boss. If Christopher gives me any more back talk... Well, I don't know who this Christopher is. Actually, I think I do. It might be either that guy. No, that's Keith. Or this guy. No, this guy doesn't say anything. There's... Yeah, I need to talk to Keith 
first and foremost, but I'm gonna go around. Man, these guys have their place well, well situated, and it's got a bunch of stuff for them. <laughs> can I take it? Oh yeah, I can. Oh my god, I'm not. Gonna oh my god, I'm. Uh, I'll not take that, cause I don't need it. I'll take that. Eh, sure. Let's see if I can take all this. Th I kind of. It's kind of totally pointless to steal all of this crap, but it does. Th this if I if I find a a trader that actually can buy all of this stuff, it disappears in a moment. All of it. All of, no, okay, he doesn't like that. I'll bet. Uh, I I bet on you, but mom gets so pissed off when we gamble. Does she? Okay. And how old are you? Forty-seven. Probably around that age. Okay, she doesn't like that, and I'm sure she's not gonna like this either. Uh, we could use a strong arm around town if you're interested. Oh, there's another lady. Oh, it's a little kid. Hey. The kid stops and looks at you. Hello there, little girl. My mommy's down by the church again. Really? What else? Daddy says we got to be careful when we go outside. Milk, milk lemonade. Around the corner. Fudge is made. I miss my brother, Richie. He died because he took too much jet. Yeah. I think that's gonna be something very important, isn't it? Daddy says we gotta go, we gotta be careful when we go outside. I have a vagina! And it sticks out the t uh, her tongue. Daddy says we got to be careful when we go outside. Oh my god. Sure, you have a vagina, little girl. You have. Please don't refrain from bringing it up. The fact and both. Both of them. Anyway. We have nobody over here, so I'll be able to take whatever I feel like. And that's ten monies over there. Pretty good. We have a kitchen over here. We have nothing over there. And this is the mummy, I think. Yep, that's Mrs. Wright right there. She's not a church. Who said she was a church? Was she actually ever supposed to go to church? Because I don't remember that that being a description for her. That, uh, you know, she's a church and all that sort of stuff. But now that I think about it, I've always found her here. But I think she actually goes to church. I'm pretty sure she does. Let's Let's have a chat with her. This is actually, she has missions for us and all that sort of stuff. It's pretty cool. So let's just have a chat with Mrs. Wright. The woman jumps. Oh my, you gave me such a fright. And she squints at you. Yes? Yes? Uh, well, I noticed you humming to yourself and thought I would stop and speak to uh, speak to you a moment, ma'am. Uh, beautiful weather we're having, isn't it? Why, yes, yes it is. And she smiles. I'm Mrs. Ethel Wright, head of the temperature union. Temperance, not temperature. <laughs> Talking about weather. Uh, temperance union here in New Reno. And who might you be? Uh, Mrs. Wright, uh, Temperance Union? Oh, why, yes, he, she wags her finger at you. New Reno is a beautiful city, but there is sin here, much of which can be traced back to the evils of alcohol, or uh, as your tribesmen call it, and she pauses dramatically. Fire water! Uh, w yeah, w it's, y we primitives call it alcohol, too. And she rambles on. The Temperance Union was established to help people turn away from the poison of drink and turn towards more hard-working pursuits. Oh, such as what? New Reno can't exist on gambling and alcohol and prostitution and ex expect to survive? Oh no, not while Ethel Wright is at the helm. It won't. No siree. So you're the head of a family that deals on booze and you're against... So... Uh, who's all in your organization? She thinks, well, good Father Tully for one. Father Tully. Oh, yeah, he's a spiritual leader of New Reno. He runs the only chapel in New Reno. You simply must speak to him. He's quite inspiring. It's actually good that we didn't speak to him already, because that this way, the order of events, it's it's more fun this way. Uh, it's effectively the same, but for those of you that don't know who Father Tully is, uh, it's better this way. So um, so what does Temperance Union d does, actually? Oh, she goes back over there. Uh... So, yeah, I'm sorry, but I, I just uh, remember I have priests. Should I say this? Yeah, let's go this. Uh, but people like gambling, drinking, and whoring. I, 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 don't, I know I do. And she looks shocked. Surely you are mistaken. Even a primitive tribal such as yourself can seriously mean the... Well, by the balls of the sky spirits, yes. I myself like to indulge in all three of those scenes. Nothing... <laughs> I don't think I should do this. Um... Uh... Yeah, I'll, I'll I'll leave it to your imagination. Based on the response above, I I think it better that way. <laughs> Thank you, game, for telling me that. Uh, so I can I can go back to the same um, conversation, and it's that's important not to shock her too much right now because we're gonna need it later. Uh, but <laughs> that response above will have our opportunity to 
to say it, to spout it out. Uh, but yeah, for right now, I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Fallout 2. I really hope you've enjoyed it, and if you did, go ahead and leave a comment. Like the video if you want to see the next episode come out sooner rather than later. But above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.